As the summer temperatures continue to rise, even into the triple digits, it's crucial to make sure you're protecting yourself from potential heat exhaustion or even a heat stroke. KRBC's Heather Easley has more on what you can do to stay hydrated in these hot conditions. Swimming, hiking, gardening, Whatever activities take you outdoors this summer, it's no doubt that you'll feel the heat. I heard from my medical director that we have seen an influx in patients since the heat has um, been so extreme lately. And with temperatures continuing to rise in the key city, as well as across Texas, it's imperative to stay hydrated. Nurse practitioner Jennifer Summers says there are multiple symptoms that someone suffering from dehydration could experience. Muscle cramping, headache, dizziness, lightheadedness, their heart rate could be increased, um, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Um, elevated core temperature, excessive sweating. She suggests several options to tackle dehydration before it could lead to a potential heat stroke. Get somewhere cool, rest. Um, in some severe cases, they might need some IV hydration. Key City Mobile IV has made it even easier for anyone suffering from illness or dehydration by going directly to them at their home, business, or even an event. There's an athlete that was dehydrated, so he sat in his car, and I just hooked my pole up right outside and stood out there. So yeah. We can really do it anywhere. Yep. So when the temperatures rise, you can guarantee um, there's going to be an uptick in appointments for dehydration, overheating, heat cramps, heat exhaustion. Fluid is the number one, you know, got to have it. And what, what causes dehydration in those heat cramps is lack of fluid. Mm -hmm. And you need it immediately. Experts say anything containing electrolytes is even better, but good old fashioned water and plenty of it should do the trick. Heather Easley, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Heather. Experts say those most at risk for dehydration include older adults, infants, and young children. This also includes people with chronic illnesses that cause them to sweat more often.